Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's real nice to see you again. And thank you to all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's been really helping me grow. And I 1,000% appreciate that. If you want to book a personal reading with me or join my members only, the links will be in the description box. Let's get into it. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Right off the bat, I could tell you this reading isn't going to resonate with everyone. A lot of these messages are going to be very specific. Um, I feel like, <laughs> all right, there's somebody here. Let's, I'm um, sorry, let's let's ask the divine first. Let's, let's, I forgot, let's light my herbs. Divine, please guide me and protect me as I tap into this collective energy. And... Please give me clear and concise and precise messages. Let us know what we need to know right now. You know, let us, let me see beyond the bell. <laughs> okay. Somebody keeps like consistently doing spell work on you. It's like if one thing didn't work, they tried the next. If you've seen some of my videos about this person trying to put maybe a rejection spell on you, you guys could have been dealing with people trying to reject you left and right, people you didn't even want to get with. Like, oh no, I wouldn't dare think about them. It's like people might have been seeking you out to try to ostracize you. Just a weird form of rejection could have come. This person realized that that wasn't going to work. So this person could have turned around and then tried to put some sort of obsession spell on you. They could have tried to cast some sort of love spell over you. This could be a couple of different people trying to do a different uh, spells on you. This person then, you know, because it might not have bothered you to be rejected. This person thought that, I don't know what this person thought would happen. Maybe this person, if this is a lover, they thought it would come, um, you would come back to them. You would want them, you know, your soul, it would knock your self-esteem down. They thought that rejection it was going to affect you way more than it actually did. Like, you know, they could have been one of those people, re rejection affects uh, women way worse. Or, you know, they could have also talked about men as, you know, take what resonates. But this is somebody who has some sort of belief that it would have a strong effect on you and your self-esteem. Maybe it did at some point, but it made you, you know, focus and it made you better yourself. This person might be crying because they realize everything that they throw at you, it happens for your benefit, you know? So if they throw negativity at you, they're like, oh gosh, it, it somehow it flips and it happens and it benefits you. You know, some of you guys could have got tired of dating and tired of like weird and mind games here, you know, so you decide to focus on yourself. So this person is feeling like, okay, so now I'm going to throw positivity at them. But, you know, it's like they're trying to throw positivity in a negative way. Like that, that kill them with kindness phrase never made sense to me. You can't kill somebody with freaking kindness. Like, you know, uh, you know? <laughs> this person wants people to get obsessed to, with you to the point of stalking you, to the point of trying to hunt you down, to the point of like you're afraid to walk outside by yourself. Some of you guys could have experienced some of this obsession over you because um, I'm seeing somebody walking in the park with like gray leggings on and then them getting scared and looking over their shoulder. You might have noticed there was somebody that seemed to be following you in the bushes. I'm seeing this person that was trying to follow you, intimidate you. This could have been like, I don't know, this person looks to be some sort of maybe, I don't know, Mexican, Hispanic, something, the person in the bush looking over at you. This person could have been drinking. They could have been halfway out of it. 
and like you know it's it's strange you know but if you were wondering yeah this could have been a part of that some of you guys and this part is definitely not for everybody but there's some people here in the collective who has been casting spells and loves spells towards a specific person, you're being warned to repent <laughs> uh, and cleanse that spell, you know, because especially if you're seeing negative side effects of trying to cast a spell over someone else. I'm not talking about anybody who casted any sort of cord cutting that's benign you have a right to want to cut cords and cut people out of your life if you were trying to manipulate someone into loving you this could have given them leeway to like it could have let some other entities in you know i know i'm hearing somebody say shut up they didn't want me to say that but <laughs> it's true boo be careful and be careful trying to tap into my energy too because i can also feel you trying to do that and you don't want to rump with me i'm just going to say that not and please don't think i'm bragging but you know you know what matter of fact you know do what you do because you, you're going to you're not going to understand until it's too late. You just want people to tell you what you want to hear. Whoever is in this sort of energy, not, you know, my collective, but, you know, they, I don't know. That's why you have some sort of obsession with me, whatever obsession you want it to cause for people to have towards you, it might be backfiring. Again, I feel like this magic is not going to have the outcome that they want it to have. Instead of that, you're going to start experiencing more romance because people are trying to figure out how to get your attention, you know? And they're going to try to be, it's going to come in all sorts of ways, but you're also might be being gifted things. You might be getting flowers. You might be getting asked out on more dates. You might just be, I don't know, getting a lot of, a lot of praise, but some of you guys, you can see it. There's people here who, if you don't text them back, they're double texting you. They're messaging you. They are, you know, they're wondering what's wrong if you don't reply to them. Some of you guys got old lovers coming back around that you never thought that, you know, cared about you, cared about you, caring about you now. You know, you might be like, why is this person messaging me? Like, it's been years because whatever this other person is trying to invoke against you. Some of you guys also have jealous witch or witches around you who might be jealous of your motivation. They want you to feel demotivated to work out, to go places, to, you know, level up. These people could have been people who were in your circle. They could have had jealousy over you because of your motivation and honestly, because of your beauty. Like these people only wanted you around if you were going to be like their lackey to them. And if you had any, they, they kept you under a microscope too. And anything that you did, they wanted to like judge it, criticize it, like make you feel bad for it or something. Like, you know, it's like they were, they, and then, you know, you pulled that energy away. So these people almost feel like they want some sort of revenge against you. You're not going to stay around people who want to view you as half a person or treat you weird because you're attractive and because you're motivated. Some of these people are trying to throw magic at you and it's coming right back at them too, you know? Uh, we're gonna get some cards, I guess, on this. I'm not sure what deck I want to use. What deck do I wanna use? You know what? I'll use the witching hour for uh, tarot since we're talking about witches. Let's see if this resonates. First card I see is salt and boundaries. So some of you guys might be throwing salt around. Some of you guys might want to take a dip in the salt water at the beach to cleanse this off of you. If you do feel like it is taking some sort of effect on you. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. 
Spirit, please tell me more. Witches brew, seek alternative solutions. Okay, so yeah, if you have been doing return to senders and you feel like it hasn't been working, try alternative solutions. Like if you've been doing your return to senders, your egg cleanse, if your egg cleanse don't work, go to the beach, do a beach cleanse. There's might be multiple people, your energy field trying to throw these magic spells towards you. Spirit, please tell me more. And I also feel like these are people who are trying to find some sort of alternative solutions. And I also feel that some of you guys have a lover here who is becoming very obsessed with you and they're trying to fight it. This person might even be with someone else, but um, they can't even get it up for someone else. This person could have tried to hex your libido so that you weren't, you know, you wanted to be abstinent, celibate. You just didn't have that energy to do the do with anybody anymore. Now this is coming back around to this person. This person might be literally sickened by the idea of laying down with their partner. And this person knows that you didn't hex them. They know very well that it's the energy that they sent towards you coming right back to them. This person cannot, they get, they're getting disgusted when they go to lay down with this person. This person could be their wife. It could be their baby mother. This could be someone that they live with, but they're not wanting to touch this person anymore. They're not wanting to touch anybody anymore. This person only thinks about you. <laughs> they think about little other things too, but they they only think about you. It's like, why am I becoming, and, I, and don't worry, because I feel like a lot of you guys got strong boundaries for harm. They might know if they come towards you it's, they don't want to rump with you. Like, <laughs> I'm here. They don't want, they don't eat. But what is that? I'm here in the end of belly. You know, I want to rump with me. <laughs> Some of you guys can be Jamaican. You might have Jamaican roots. So you might have roots from like the islands. You might have people or know people who practice magic. I'm hearing Santeria. I'm hearing like, you know, all the gods and goddesses and stuff like that. Some of you guys might have native ancestries or indigenous somewhere from some indigenous, you know, um, ancestry here, and that they might believe in all of this. Spirit, stuff. please tell me more. And for some of you guys, it's not just magic that's making people obsessed with you. Like I said, your focus and your detachment. Like once you stop caring, that's when a whole lot of people care. Like you know. <laughs> are coming towards you. Some of you guys could have been like, all I want is a date. People aren't asking me out on real dates and blah, blah, blah. Then you stop caring. You could have started like, you know what? I'm having more fun out by myself. Now you might notice a lot of people are asking you out on real dates. They, they realize there's a lot of competition here. And there are people who are trying to figure out how to stand out from the competition with... um. Some of them are trying to use negative means of standing out. Other people are trying to use positive means. And some people could sense you're totally closed off. You're not emotionally available <laughs> right now. You know, you're not looking from somewhere to put your heart at. Some of you guys might joke around and uh, stuff like that. But Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. High priestess leadership here. There's some people here who wish they would have followed your leadership, especially if these are old friends or family members. Some of you guys could have been the ones who were, I don't know, you, you set good examples for people, even though some didn't want to follow it. They missed the structure you added to their lives. They missed competing with you. It made them better. Now they don't have those better people around to compete with. Everybody is on some BS hair. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> people use you as inspiration for sure. Spirit, please tell me more. Okay. What did you want to say, party? 
Feeding Crows transformation. A lot of you guys have gone under like a big transformation. Some, yeah, something could have happened to you where you transformed and somebody wants to be a part of this new version of you. Like they feel like that old version of you they had, like they're not the man anymore for conquering it. They want to be able to conquer the stronger version of you or I don't know, get you now, like now that you're you're more confident or you're better looking or you got a better job hair. For some of you, this is definitely a female trying to conquer you, another male hair. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. The sacred vows, commitment, commitment, and this is under boundaries too. Um, a lot of you guys now that you you're not accepting any sort of relationship into your life like so because you got options here people who want to commit towards you there's definitely people realizing that they it's not enough for you to just have a lover you want the right lover I'm hearing that song was it I've been looking for the right stuff baby Oh, with Mr. Right. They've been playing 80s music like in my area too. I don't know. Like <laughs> I used to love when they did that when I was younger too. And they would play those like 80s songs. But I'm hearing that. Who do you love? Are you for sure? You know, and then I'm like, you know, but specifically you're not just trying to, you know, you want Mr. Right, not Mr. Right now. You're like, you know, I've been along for so long. I'm you're patient with what's coming into your life. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. And you're not allowing people to come in and love bomb you either. Like <laughs> you got a lot of a lot of energy in your energy field. Some of you guys might even feel overwhelmed by the strength at which people come at you and you're like, whoa, buddy, like calm down broken branch heartache here yeah this is what i'm saying heartache i feel like this is the other party dealing with heartache or if you're dealing with heartache i feel like somebody might be dealing with heartache as the consequence of um trying to come up with this riches which is brew here your best but that is to core cut and cleanse broken branch heartache yeah okay yeah somebody is definitely dealing with some heartache when it comes to you some people here are also noticing that you're you're kind of over whatever heartache that you've been through or that you used your heartache to grow spirit please tell me more yeah we got cloak and dagger deception here so beware of people trying to come in and love bomb you i'm saying some of these people don't even know how to love bomb you the right way they might be telling you things about your physical appearance you don't care to hear and and i love you and i want to marry you like right off the back and it could be like ill <laughs> you're right you already recognize the signs you're like who do you think you are like you know <laughs> start at level one what are you like what are you trying to do there's people who are trying to get your attention in inappropriate situations here where you probably feel like ill like like let me just bring up my groceries like please and leave me the hell alone spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more Somebody here might be trying to say that you're stuck up because you won't accept their love bombing, but they want any sort of interaction with you. It's like, you know, somebody here could have also wanted you to feel like the things that people did to you were your fault. Like, you know, and it's not, you know, your fault, like you allowed them to do this. People wanted you to take responsibility for the way other people reacted towards you. Like, and this could be platonically or, you know, sexually. Like, you know, even with those old group of friends, they could have wanted you to feel like, oh, well, you didn't say hi. Well, and it's like, why didn't you say hi to me first then if you wanted a hi? Like, oh, well, why you didn't speak? Why they didn't speak, you know? 
<laughs> and like trying to, and that's why, because these people were looking for any sort of reason to put you down because of the envy that surrounds you. It's like some weird envy here, you know? So a lot of people are like, I don't know why everybody's so into the collective. I don't know why everybody likes them. And they're like, I don't know why uh, the collective gets so many compliments. I think I was saying that in my live. I'm like, you know, people could be desperate for attention. You know, they're like, oh, and they hate other people getting that sort of attention that they want. You know, like, why is Mark always get praised that work why does mark get all the hoes why how come when i if i would have said that to a girl they would have gotten mad at me so i you know and then i don't know they they internalize that rejection that resentment that not being a part of the spotlight and then they want to attack people who are in the spotlight because you know they lack their own ability to shine and they're hoping that you would pull them into the spotlight Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Enter at your own risk and pause. Okay, yeah, I feel like somebody is being warned here to enter at their own risk when it comes to trying to cast different things on you. Some of them, you know, they could, huh? Like I said, this is also paranoia, looking over your shoulder type of energy. Somebody wanted you in that energy, specifically at night. If you guys like walking or going out at night, this person really doesn't, you know, like that, you know? <laughs> so it's a strange energy. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Seasons of the Witch, honoring cycles. A lot of you guys are honoring the different cycles that you've been through, whether you've been through a sucker for love cycle or you've been through, I don't know, cold person cycle, overly aggressive cycle. You're honoring those cycles. There's some people here who wanted you to maintain stuck in those cycles, like you're stuck in your worst. I don't know. <laughs> you know, whatever was your worst thing that you've gone through, this is what they wanted people to continue treating you like. They didn't want people to uphold you. They wanted you stay, to stay stuck at your worst level, you know? Spirit is also with the enter at your own risk and a cloak and dagger and deceptions. It's warning you not to share everything with everybody. Because, of course, people can't use it against you, but they might try to use it against you. This is like, I don't know if I said I'd realize if I say something like, I don't if you comment on nah, this or that, that's my biggest pet peeve. And then there will be a slew of comments of people trying to trigger me just based off of me saying I don't like when people say this. <laughs> like I just said in the other video, I'm like the collective is not one person uh one person it's a collective of individuals you know one person can't be a collective then i see a series of comments this is the collective i'm the collective this is the collective just like oh did that piss her off let me try to piss her off more like you know some people operate in that type of energy so if you let them know that something hurt your feelings before they might try to repeat that pattern because they're they feel like they have some sort of emotional control over you. Some people, I don't know, they, they lack the ability to have an effect or impact on people. So that's the only way they could feel like they have some sort of impact on people. It makes them feel like they're pushing your buttons and therefore controlling you. They feel like, oh, I can make you mad. Oh, I can hurt you like that. So I'm going to try to hurt you like that too. Like, you know, <laughs> so be careful here too. And then it's like a lot of you guys probably recognize that and you cut people like that off. And for some reason, these idiots didn't expect you to cut them all for them trying to repeat those little annoyances. They wanted to be like, oh, well, I was just playing with you. 
you told them not to play with you like that. They already knew, like, you know, that you didn't like that type of behavior. But they, but I think, and I wasn't, and okay, well, don't play with me like that. <laughs> I know. And then you block them out of your life and you're not caring anymore. Then now it's like it created some sort of obsession here. It's, it's weird how some people who are, you know, operate, the people who are powerless in their own lives, you could always tell by how they try to seek minuscule ways for power within other people's lives. Yeah, and somebody is also mad and they feel disempowered that you see that. You're not seeing yourself as, oh, they're targeting me because I'm black, because I'm white, because I'm light-skinned, because I'm thick, because I have large tits. You're thinking of the opposite. You're like, okay, this person is childish. This person is an idiot. And they're like, oh, oh. They're offended because they wanted you to internalize these offenses that they took towards you. They're doing this because they're jealous. They're doing this might be because they're jealous but it's also because they're an idiot they're an idiot and they thought you would blame yourself for their actions which is dumb people that people do what you allow them to do no people do what's in their character to do a good person is going to be a good person no matter who you are <laughs> spirit please tell me more Anybody who tries to reserve their respect for certain types of individuals or, oh, well, you know, those people are arrogant. They're, they're weird. They're, you know, like, who cares about your respect? Like, <laughs> here, I, I, nobody could ever disrespect me. They disrespect themselves for speaking in a way that makes them look like a jackass. I'm like, you ain't disrespect me trying to come at me like that. You disrespected yourself and you disrespected your own image. You, you didn't play me for a fool <laughs> for lying to me. You showed yourself to be a liar. I'm not, oh, well, you actually believe? No, you're a clown. You're, you're the one who lied. I'm not a fool for believing your lie. You're a liar for telling a lie in the first place <laughs> here like you know i'm not uh uh what is that soft for um a person thinking that they could come at me aggressively you're weird aggressive and not in control of your own emotions if you feel like you can talk to somebody that way or come about me you ain't disrespect me you disrespected yourself I'm good. <laughs> I'll ever feel disrespected. You're that's who you are, buddy, not who I am. And how you act is about, you know, yourself. Crying eyes. Someone has their eyes on you. Yeah, somebody is definitely watching you very closely. They're trying to and it's funny too because you could sit and you could say things you could talk for hours and nobody could really figure you out they can't decide you know how you react they can't seem to get through to you this is forcing them to evaluate themselves i think i said that in another reading before but there are some people who really can't stop watching you yeah, somebody wants to be able to distract you. They want to uh, be able to throw you off of your name, the midnight moth hair. Somebody wants you losing sleep, but I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to pull some angel numbers and close this reading out. I hope it resonated with those who it needed to resonate with. I like when I wear brighter colors. It brings something out of me. <laughs> huh. I was working out for a minute, so I didn't want to, I didn't feel like getting dressed up, but it's the holiday and the gym is closed. I'm filming this on 4th of July, so I hope you had your happy 4th of July. 259. We pulled that number yesterday, so I'm going to pull a different angel number. <laughs> 
Spirit, please give me the right angel number for this reading. Spirit, please give me the right angel number for this reading. Spirit, please give me the right angel number for this reading. We got Ace here. One, seven, nine. Se one, seven, nine. We pulled seven, one, nine before. But hey, okay. I might start doing, well, I like the angel numbers. This is a good way to end. Hmm. Seven, nine, one, spiritual awakening. Seven, of course, luck from heaven. <laughs> Seven, heaven. Uh, nine, nine of diamonds. You might be completing some sort of uh, financial journey or material journey. We're going to look up the meaning of it though. Uh, 719 is the area code in Germany. Some of you guys might be thinking of visiting Germany. You could be from Germany or um, you could have been stationed in Germany or you could have had a loved one stationed in Germany. I'm saying like, I don't know, soldiers, armies, um, military, you know, type of people. Navy. Um, angel number 179 brings a message that you are to focus your thoughts and intentions on completing an important task that is close to your heart. This venture or task is an important step in your divine life path and soul mission and must in order to clear yeah, and a must in order to clear the way for new opportunity to take its place. The next step in your spiritual journey, believe that your angels love and support you all the way. You are being led towards the answers to your prayers and are and are asked to listen and focus the steps that are focus on the steps that the angels are now communicating to you through your thoughts, intuition, and dreams. Angel number 179 tells you that you Create your own realities with your values, self-beliefs, desires, wishes, prayers, decisions, and actions. Your thoughts, visions, and intuitive feelings about aspects of your life purpose are successfully guiding you in the right direction. You have been following divine guidance and putting your spiritual knowledge and inner knowing inner wisdom into practice, and you are being asked to continue shining your light for others to follow. Angel number 179 encourages you to live your life with courage, truth, and integrity as a pos positive example for others and for the betterment of your own life. Keep up the positive energies and affirmations to continue to manifest successful results and outcomes. Keep your expectations high and your thoughts focused. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Goodbye.